our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict. <laughs> ah, the three count. Seems every time I'm here, I never have time to just sit back and enjoy the games. And I get the herp. Loosest slots in Steelport. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. This simulation better be awesome, man. Okay, here comes trouble. This is the army of minions? Zombies? Who has an army of zombies? You uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are a pressing matter, Matt. Whose army did you say this was? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh, Matt, is this Nightblade fan fiction? Uh, please! I'm not one of those forum stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed, badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon breaking Mary Sue's and. Oh, so you've read it? Well, of course I've read it! We've been working on this simulation. Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three when it seemed Nightblade may be retiring. So we set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh man, sweet, sweet man. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. As with many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. Ah, oh, I'm not judging. You're not? No, oh, no, I am. But I really don't want to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive. Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories. My condolences on your loss. The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. So where is he? Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yes, I must be. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Onward! 
toward battle! Oh, it's been so crazy. So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. I do. Just a little bit? Killing zombies is never not fun, Matt. That's why they're called zombies. I knew you were having a good time. Is this simulation really made for Asha? Originally? Yes. Why did she reject it? Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. I'm sorry, Matt. Attacked en route to the main villain. Nicely played, Matt. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, thank you. I'm not really up to date on Nightblade fiction. Who are the Cyprian Order again? The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace and was turned into one such creature. A vampire. Okay, so now the Cyprian Order hunt Nightblade too? That's right. Oh, okay, but Nightblade still fights vampires along with fighting the Cyprian Order? Correct! That sounds... compelling. It's... magic work that's exemplar of the form. Time to build this. It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. How many simulations is Asha having you build? I don't know, a dozen? A dozen? She likes to keep her skills honed. Can you tell me, like, does he have a love interest or anything? Oh, oh, oh my god, yes! Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter. A lone man wandering the earth looking for justice, never to love again. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. It's a good line. One of the finest ever written. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak. Shit. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Mad, get back. I will not! I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction! Matt, get back! ...into that underground shithole. Matt Miller, I thought you were my ally. But I am! Now, I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! Now that was a drag. This is already so... This is terrible! I need you to focus! We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you stabbed me through the heart! Uh, Matt... Already. We are going to get Zinyak for this! Sure. For this, you know, because up until now Zinyak's crimes haven't been that bad. You're not taking this seriously! I'm trying to save our lives, Matt. I don't want to fight you, Nightblade!
life. Embrace empowers me. Forgive me, Franklin Knight. Done. Nightblade has fallen. Sorry things ended this way. <laughs> Typical writer. Can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe, I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. We're not done yet. We're not? Not until you get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... From Nightblade? The fight against the creatures of the night and the fellows that turned on him must continue, Ned. Don't let Franklin Knight have died in vain. So, you do understand. Man, it makes any difference. Yes? As the sole living world leader from planet Earth, this is probably within my power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, and licenses, possible merchandise, to the Nightblade property. You what? On one condition. Of course. Never stop. <laughs>